and welcome to this football edition of Patriot League Roundup. I'm Gina Johnson. The Patriot League scored another four wins in football for the second straight week as Colgate, Fordham, Lafayette and Lehigh all were victorious on Saturday. After week three, Lehigh and Lafayette are the remaining undefeated league teams. Georgetown and Fordham are both 2-1, while Bucknell is at 500 with a 1-1 record. Let's take a look at all the scores and highlights from Saturday. It was an offensive nightmare for the Penn Quakers from the start, as quarterback Billy Ragone's pass is tipped and intercepted by Kashim Hill. Four plays later, Lafayette sophomore quarterback Zach Zweizig punched it in from four yards out. On the ensuing Penn drive, Darius Safford intercepted Ragone and returned it 31 yards to make it 14-0 less than five minutes in. The next Penn drive, Ragone uses a play-action fake but doesn't fool Ben Alloy, who easily picked off the pass, setting up Zweizig for a 17-yard touchdown pass to Rodney Gold. It didn't get any better for Penn in the second quarter as a scoring chance was spoiled by the Leopards' fifth pick of the game. Penn cut it to 21-7 before the half and had a chance to score again in the third, but Kinney Scott intercepted Ragon at the Leopards 12, and five plays later, Zweizig connected with Mike Duncan for a 26-yard touchdown. Penn did cut it to 28-21 late in the fourth quarter with a pair of touchdowns, but with a chance to tie it, Safford picked off Andrew Holland for the game's seventh interception and eighth Penn turnover. Zweizig completed 13 of 20 passes for 134 yards and two touchdowns, while the defense matched a 1944 record of seven interceptions. We, that's what we love. We love when teams throw the ball. You know, even though we gave a, a couple of big plays, but you know, we love when teams air it out. You know, we got a great D line, get pressure, and we feel like we had the best secondary in the Patriot League. But the last play, you know, you know, just dug down deep. You know, we feel like the receivers. You know, they were, they were pretty solid receivers. You know, they've been doing work on us all night. But you know, I feel we you know we just. Just finding our gut instinct, you know, we just got to come out and play ball, and that's what we did. We made a play at the end. Lehigh hosted Princeton Saturday, and Michael Colvin got the offense started early, connecting with Lee Kerfis for this 37-yard catch, setting up Zach Barquette's five-yard touchdown run on the very next play. Colvin completed another long pass, this time 31 yards to Josh Parrish, to set up a field goal early in the second quarter, and on the next Lehigh drive, the Mountain Hawks made it 17-0 with a two-yard option run for Keith Sherman. Princeton shut out Lehigh in the second half and cut it to 17-14, but Colvin hit a wide-open Dylan Colgate to convert a third and 11 with 224 left to ice the game. Colvin finished with 276 yards passing, completing 21 of 34 attempts. He also ran for 57 yards. Ryan Spadola caught seven passes for 102 yards, becoming the third Lehigh player to eclipse 3,000 career receiving yards. Colgate never trailed and scored 21 third-quarter points to hand Sacred Heart a 35-14 loss Saturday in Hamilton, New York. Jordan McCord ran for 167 yards and two touchdowns, while Gavin McCarney threw for 141 yards and scored three total touchdowns. Colgate's defense had three sacks and held Sacred Heart to 3 of 11 on third down and 0 for 3 on fourth. After a quiet first half, Fordham's offense came alive in the second half opening with a 15-yard Carlton Coons touchdown run to cut Cornell's lead to 14-12. Four minutes later, Ryan Higgins hit Sam Ajala for a 35-yard touchdown, and the two-point conversion makes it 20-14. Early fourth quarter, Brian Wetzel takes a short pass from Higgins and runs it in for the 23-yard touchdown. After Cornell cut it to six points, Coons capped a 71-yard drive with a 10-yard score to make it 34-21. Fordham held on to win 34-27 over Cornell, improving the 2-1 on the season. Coons ran for 176 yards and two scores, while Higgins threw for 281 yards and two touchdowns. Holy Cross started strong against Brown Saturday, taking a 7-3 lead in the second quarter on a Kevin Watson one-yard quarterback sneak. Early in the third quarter, Watson connected with wideout John Smith for a 31-yard gain, setting up this six-yard touchdown pass to Alex Schneider. After Brown scored to make it 14-10, Holy Cross drove 83 yards to extend the lead with Eddie Houghton's one-yard touchdown run. But it all came apart in the fourth as quarterback Patrick Donnelly capped a 75-yard drive with a two-yard touchdown pass to Jonah Fay, making it 21-17. And after a Holy Cross three and out, Donnelly completed an 84-yard drive with a 10-yard scramble to take a three-point lead with a minute 24 left. Brown held on for the 24-21 win on Saturday, outscoring Holy Cross 21-7 in the final 20 minutes. Watson threw for 223 yards and a touchdown, and Houghton finished with 62 yards rushing. 
Bucknell got an early field goal by Sean Cobelli, and strong defense kept them within a touchdown late in the third quarter, but number 14 Delaware pulled away for the 19-3 win on Saturday in Newark, Delaware. The Bison defense had two sacks and a fumble in the game. Georgetown led late in the second quarter and had several chances against Yale, but couldn't find the big play, falling 24-21 on Saturday in Washington, D.C. Six different Hoya ball carriers combined for 260 yards rushing, and defensive back Jeremy Moore had 12 tackles and a 41-yard interception return for a touchdown. All seven league teams are back in action next week, including three with national television games. Georgetown will be at Princeton on Friday in an ESPNU telecast, while Bucknell will host Lafayette in the league opener on CBS Sports Network at noon on Saturday. For full previews on all of next week's games, tune into Patriot League Roundup this Friday. Thanks for watching this edition of Patriot League Roundup. I'm Gina Johnson.